Hello. 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 So, uh, my name is Andy Newton. Um, actually, some people call me Andrew, I guess, which is a long form of my name. I'm a Deputy Country Director here at the British Council in Bangladesh. I've been in my post for about 18 months. And um, as part of my responsibility, I oversee our programs portfolio. And the British Council here in Bangladesh, as we do worldwide, uh, works with uh, young people. Um, particularly in education. Mm -hmm. uh, as part of that is English. Uh, also, we help administer and deliver UK exams uh, for different examples. And then we have a portfolio of, of programs which are uh, around society. So that includes civil society, governance, and the arts. It also includes um, sport as well. Uh, so as you can see, quite a broad, broad portfolio of, of work that we do here. Well, I, I, to be honest, I think that all the programs have a cultural element to it. Um, you know, uh, the British Council is focused on cultural relations and people ask, well, what does that mean? So cultural relations is around uh, individual person-to-person -person connection. It's about uh, organisations, local and international, building relationships. And it's about mutuality between, for us, the UK and Bangladesh. We have more than 20 different types of cultural programs here in Bangladesh mm -hmm. but um, they really intersect between you know involving society society participation mm -hmm. exploring different aspects of culture around heritage uh, for example and then really focus on trying to use use technology and digital uh, to try and engage with as many people as possible and as I said that really focuses on young people Looking at culture, yes, you have the more traditional view, which is around arts, but culture is around being a global citizen, around learning and understanding uh, from different countries and different nationalities and also different communities and experiences. So, uh, to me, uh, what does culture mean in, the, in modern society it takes on quite a, a broader uh, narrative. So let me start with education. Yes. Um, so we have a program called Connecting Classrooms, which is now launching its in its fourth iteration. It's in partnership with the uh, Department for International Development, and we work with schools across the country, who then um, partner with uh, schools in the UK and develop uh, mutual programs. Uh, as part of that, also teachers and head teachers uh, receive training. Um, which really focus around 21st century skills and leadership. So we're trying to bring in modern practice in, into the classroom to prepare young people, the students who are the ultimate beneficiary, as well as the teachers um, for the 21st century. So as part of that also um, we're starting some education reform programs, uh, bringing UK expertise with the primary sector uh, around teaching up to 200,000 teachers English. So English is the lingua franca, as you know, the global mm -hmm. uh, language, so we see that that is an important program. Uh, then on our society side, uh, we have Libraries Unlimited, which is in partnership with the uh, Ministry of Cultural Affairs, MOCA, and also the Department of Public Libraries and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And that's really thinking about what does uh, the modern library mean today? Mm -hmm. Is it more than just the books? It's actually a cultural center, and uh, how, does, how can that really translate into libraries across Bangladesh? How can we make them more cultural spaces to be able to offer uh, different types of events and activities for the local community? So that's a program which is ongoing and will continue to 2020. Um, so we're working in partnership in order to be able to do that. So the government, uh, as part of this program, has really uh, endorsed and supported some of the ideas that we've put forward. So one is looking at libraries and making the public more aware about libraries. So we've had the first ever National Libraries Day, which was endorsed by the Right Honourable Prime Minister last year. And that was really born through the British Council's work with partners um, as part of this Libraries Unlimited program. And then secondly, we're developing model libraries. The first one will be in Munchigunch later this year, and that's in partnership with the public or the Department of Public Libraries. And again, it's taking libraries from being just books 
to looking at different uh, things that, and events that we can do there. Just I'll share with you, uh, yesterday in fact we were um, having a coding club with young people with a UK expert, Timothy Green, and uh, he was teaching uh, high school students how to use um, a little computer. So uh, we partnered with UK organisations, Microbit, uh, Raspberry Pi and Cano to uh, provide these little computers and they give young people not just coding skills but they prepare them with digital literacy, ICT skills and prepare them again for the future. So how does a library in Munchi Gunch be able to do that? I mean it's quite amazing if you think about it. And Women of the World, so most people say wow because it is a, a great event. It started in the UK, the South Bank Centre. It's been all over the world and we're really excited that it's now come to Bangladesh. Uh, we had a soft launch in, uh, in uh, Chattogram last year and now we're taking it across the country and there's going to be a big festival in Dhaka in early 2019. And it's a great festival. It celebrates uh, opportunities for women and girls to learn about all the great work that uh, young women are doing in Bangladesh. Um, but what we're really excited about as well is taking it to different parts of the country because our arts portfolio, we want to be less Dhaka centric, we want to be more across Bangladesh. So it's giving local artists, local communities a platform to be able to showcase their work, share their experiences and inspire young people, not just girls, also uh, young, young men as well, but also importantly with women and girls as part of this gender equality to inspire them uh, to see what they can do in their, with their future. Our main focus for arts in Bangladesh is helping professionalize the arts sector, yes. helping young people know that careers in the arts is a good thing, it's a positive thing, help educate parents to know that in the future, actually, where the machines will do automated tasks, that having creativity and a creative mindset is essentially important for employment in the future. So all of these things, we're running great young programs that can feed into WOW, but feed into the other arts work that we're doing. We're working with the Children's Film Society, and uh, we do filmmaking workshops with young people. Um, uh, so that as part of our overall program with young people around the creative industries is, is really important. Yes, it's a local platform and it allows local artists. So as I said in Chattogram, we had a female, all female rock band. I'd never seen one in Bangladesh. So uh, it, it gives po poets, writers, uh, all an opportunity to be able to showcase their work. We've got stalls, a marketplace. So what we see with a lot of artists is they're actually, while it's diminishing, it's diminishing in a form that people remember, perhaps, of a certain generation, but actually we've worked with a lot of UK, art, uh, UK artists and Bangladeshi artists who's collaborated to explore heritage, and I know that one um, electronic group went to Birmingham in the UK, and even though they play electronic music, they're influenced by their cultural heritage. Mm -hmm. So it's really drawing upon modern artists but who are taking a lot of the history and the heritage and the identity of mm -hmm. part of their community and of Bangladesh and really translating that into some a modern sound mm -hmm. in music, for example, or in a piece of art. So um, I think that there's a lot of initiatives that we're trying to do with young people to uh, be able to facilitate that. So, um, we face a lot of challenges like uh, international and local organizations. It's around scale. Mm -hmm. So I'm always reminded that Bangladesh is, in terms of land size, the size of England and Wales put together, but yet has over 160 million people. So, and majority of them are young people who we work with. So I think it's how do we create programs like WOW or Active Citizens, which is a social action uh, project based for young people to identify problems in their communities and create projects or programs which solve them, how do we create those opportunities for even more people? And we can't do that without digital. So I think the main challenge for us is how do we scale and elevate our programs through the use of technology to be able to reach more people? The plan here is we have a brand new auditorium 
but it's taken a lot of time to get the sound proofing and all the other elements to make it a really uh, world-class or uh, performance um, arena so we've um, investing in that and so shortly I think that we're revamping you'll be pleased to know we're revamping our programming in here and hopefully we'll have more and more events however we haven't really um, stopped there because we just work in partnerships so maybe we may physically at the British Council not putting on the performance mm -hmm. but we have lots of partner events DACA Literary Festival which is coming up mm -hmm. we're working with them to curate content mm -hmm. around different authors coming out so so we do do performances and we do do showcasing but it's just working in partnership mm -hmm. in a slightly different way but at the same time we recognize the importance of our cultural center mm -hmm. and, the, and the auditorium that we have built there mm -hmm. and we want to be able to draw people to Shabak and Fuller Road to be able to um, have those performances. You know, we're really excited about our unique and our partnership with the Alliance Francaise and the Goethe Institute and being able to work together, it's not about an adjustment, it's a, identifying a commonality around cultural heritage that we have throughout all our programming. So we will continue to work with them, we're working with the Ministry of Cultural Affairs to look at heritage um, in the UK and across Europe, there are national heritage days where government opens up public buildings and people can come and visit and really engage more with uh, their heritage and we're trying to see how we can do that more in Bangladesh and explore the aspect of heritage collectively because as you know working in partnership working together we can offer more um, than uh, just through uh, sort of individual programming um, also around language so you know in, in the global citizen in the international uh, arena uh, people are becoming more multilingual so uh, how do we celebrate the fact that there's also English but also French German and be able to work together to um, uh, sort of raise awareness around languages and culture and the, even heritage through language so I should start with saying that um, I first came here in 2011 um, and as an ICT consultant and uh, I was with the British Council and I was really excited to come back to Bangladesh because uh, I was inspired at that time by the people and really the friend, just the warmth and energy that the country had, its people had and um, so I think that in my 18 months that that has been reinforced in terms of my own experience of working with uh, Bangladesh partners and I see you know continued growth throughout uh, and opportunities and working within the cultural sphere uh, I, I was just amazed to meet so many talented young artists coming through particularly in music and the visual arts mm -hmm. and um, long that may that continue and I think where the UK can add value and continue to be able to collaborate to foster that community in the creative industries is only a good thing. In 51, as the British Council, to, uh, long before then, in terms of its work and cultural relations. And, you know, we're continuing to be here. Um, I think the cultural centre, we're going to uh, increase in terms of our offer, our programming, and what we can do for young people and modernise that to meet the needs of young people in the future. But also the fact that um, I would say, please engage with us on, on through social media. We have a lot of programmes that not just cultural programs but things in, that can help communities in Bangladesh and help upskill uh, young people but also continue to help people reach their aspirations um, with the best of the UK. Okay, have a good day. Thank you.